I am dying. I have been fighting this disease for months now. I may die. They all know this. My mother sits by my bed, praying all day. Sometimes I pity her. She has refused to accept my fate. But I have accepted my fate. My dance with death is near. My only regret is not leaving. God is able to do more than all you think you can do. Yeah, yeah, God is able to do more than all, more than all. God is able to do more than all. Tired enough with the prayers. Stop. Oh, stop. You're giving me a headache. Enough with the prayers. If God can hear you, He would have answered before now. Oh, stop. You're giving me a headache. Can you guys tell her to stop? We should tell your mother to stop praying for your own recovery. What is wrong with you, love it? That's Isabel, my best friend. She visits every now and then and tries to keep me abreast with the times and everything going on in her life. I stop caring about the news or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, my favorite social media spot. Now, social media reminds me about the good things in life and why dying sucks. Uh, babe, look, I understand. You don't understand shit. You're not the one lying down here waiting to die. So don't tell me you do understand. Look up, look up my hands. Don't tell me you do understand because you don't understand. <laughs> That's my boyfriend Kenneth. We call him Kenny or Ken. He says he understands how I feel. <laughs> I just hate it when people assume they know what I'm going through. At the end, they don't know the half of it. They do not have to lie here and watch Kimo wreck every kind of damage to their body and hair. They are not the ones waiting to die. He doesn't have the right to say that to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Love it. This is holy water blessed by my reverend. Yeah. Let's take it. I'm tempted to tell my mom that her reverend can eat shit. But I won't. My mother will drag me to church for deliverance despite my failing health. Wait, you keep giving me bile every day and I'm tired of taking it. I can't. No bile. It is holy water. Healing water. Please just take it, okay? Gosh, I don't you have to take it. Gosh. Traitors. Okay, I just want to be left alone now. I'm tired. Well, I just go here. Mommy, you've been here all day. I want to be left alone. Mommy, mommy, mommy. mommy, you have to. I'll call the doctor. I'll call the doctor. I want to be left alone, please. Come on, just. Okay, baby. No. Okay, baby girl. Please take good care of yourself, okay? I have to go. Just be good, please. Someone is in a bad mood today. I'm just tired. I don't understand.
Out, out, out! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? You have to stay still for us to walk, Mr. Okoye. Look, I don't need this, okay? I don't need Kemo. Kemo has not helped me in any way before. I do not need Kemo, okay? Calm down. This is the reason why you are here. Your case is critical and you need to leave. I don't need anything. Get out. You cannot be negative now. A little positivity and prayer will go a long way, okay? What has prayer done for me? You answer me, doctor. You have the right words in your mouth, right? What has prayer done for me? I said I don't need it. Get out! What if you get out? See, we have to connect this to your arms. You already took antinusia medication and steroids. You are here to get well, aren't you? Aren't you listening to me? Huh? You don't hear anything I'm saying, right? Get out. Get out! Let's go. Dying sucks. I know this because I'm on its waiting list. Terminally ill people find it extremely hard to accept their fate. Some blame it on God, and some carry their anger to their death, refusing to forgive God for letting this happen to them. This young man is one of the many who has refused to accept his fate. I was once like him. I came to apologize for the other day. It's okay, I understand. I mean, it's not easy to be hit by this disease and still be normal. Yeah. Um, my name is Michael Kui. Love F. Love F. Chidi. Nice to meet you. Ah. Same here. See you having some fun. Care to join me? It's okay, in the next time. Okay. I would see you around. Sure. Bye. 
Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for forgiving me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. Hi, honey. Ah, work. Just tired. Sorry. How are you, honey? Good. Mm. I'm just tired, so. You've been stuck in here all day, yeah? Mm hmm Okay. Let me take you on a walk, all right? <laughs> Baby, now I can walk, right? I know that, but this is going to be a long walk. I don't want you getting tired. Wait, are we, are we walking out of the hospital? No, we're not. Okay, you know, if I get tired, you would back me. <laughs> <laughs> Big baby. I'll do that, come, let me. Okay. I can walk. No, I'm oh, still going God. to assist. <laughs> Hanging, hanging in there. Yeah. Right. Oh, sorry. oh, sorry, I didn't introduce you to my boyfriend, Kenneth. Oh. And Michael. Kenneth, Michael. 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 Nice to meet you. Yeah. Kenneth. Nice to meet you. Um, we're just looking at the wall. All right. I'll see, see you, you soon. Yeah? All right. See you around. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Baby, like I'm right? Why are you not responding? You're slowly becoming best buddies with that cancer guy. With who? The cancer guy. The cancer guy? I, I don't understand. Why, 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 why call him the cancer guy? Why define someone by their disease? Would you even call me behind my back? The cancer girl? No. No, then what do you call me? Gosh, I'm incredibly disappointed in you. You're walking a sick and diamond because you're jealous? Just I'm so, I'm no, sorry. no, 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 no. I'm just sorry. Why, why was you calling the cancer guy? Hey, hey, Couldn't you have just said maybe? I'm, I'm sorry. Come on. Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Why, why was you calling the cancer guy? Couldn't you have just said? Yeah. So good the other day, so I felt to come check on you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, my my heart feels twice. My God. So sorry. Yeah. So how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. You know, it's a miracle I'm still walking down this hallway. Pray for many more miracles. Amen. So sorry. Do you feel yeah. better now? Um, Just a bit. Um. <laughs> sorry. Oh wow, you read? Uh, yes, uh, I do. I mean, it helps to minimize the boredom. This is one of my favorite books. Uh, which one is that? Oh. 
<laughs> I'm yet to read that one. Really? Oh, it's full of twists and turns and suspense. In fact, the ending will blow your <laughs> mind. Okay, definitely. That's, that's my next read. Yeah, I can just start reading it to no, you now. No, 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 no. No, it's, it's fine. You don't take no for an answer, do I you? don't. <laughs> I hardly. So, um, you know, when I start this book, I read it in less than two days. Okay. Yes, in less than two days. Don't worry. Boom! Oh, gosh, Isabel, stop it. Stop, Joe. You scared me. Stop. You were so deep in thought that you didn't even see me walking. Are you okay? You know you can talk to me, right? What's wrong? I've been having suicidal thoughts a lot lately. Sometimes I just wish I could bring down these burglaries, jump off these windows, Oof. just end my life. What? You're closing it. Closing the blinds doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. I never want to see this window open again. And please, stop having stupid thoughts building your head. Please, babe, think positive thoughts only. And always remember that you can only beat this if you stay fighting. Please. Yes. Thanks for this friend, by the way. You're welcome. You'll be fine. All right? So, did I tell you what? Sonia is getting married. Really? Yeah, and the wedding date is for next month. Oh, that's amazing. Then. Yeah, that smally backed a husband for herself. And I've been praying for years for one, and I couldn't even get a boyfriend. <laughs> Please, you have the chance to get one. I don't. I don't think I'll live long enough to, to get married. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I, I, I didn't mean it that way. I understand. It's just that you healthy people, you worry yourself about irrelevant things. You don't appreciate what you have. The gift of life. The gift of sleeping or waking up. It's a blessing from God. At least your life is not hanging on a thread. <laughs> Dead people, they worry about nothing. Yet you're worrying about marriage, about kids, about money. I just think you should just live your life. Be grateful. Be grateful to God. You can, you can sleep and wake up and just be happy. <laughs> yeah. That's just what I think, really. <laughs> You know what? What? I am so proud of you. Mm. You know, your strength and resilience are unmatched. Mm. You, you, you have such a revamped view of life. And <laughs> I remember how you used to worry about something as little as a pimple. <laughs> Yeah, that's why there's no timeline in your life. You just worry about irrelevant things. Now I know better. I just, I'm grateful for each day I get to breathe. You'll be fine, yeah. all right? Yeah. Even the universe is fighting by your side. I know that. But are you sneaking some ice cream for me? Ice cream? Yeah, nobody will know. Okay. <laughs> Are you contemplating suicide?
the thoughts did cross my mind. So, uh, why don't you just wait for the disease to do its job? I'm sure it will do a far better job than you. <laughs> Uh, instead of rushing yourself to death. <laughs> Fulfilled state cross my mind, but I will never. Because huh? I have I have a lot to be for. I have a lot to do <laughs> outside here. <laughs> Nobody wants to die. Mm. I mean even Biggie said it. Nobody wants to die. If I go, you better go. Nobody wants to die. Let the gun shot. <laughs> you know, Biggie? <laughs> I just know he's big. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. I was actually thinking of you. Know, make like a wish list. A what? A wish list, like a bucket list. Oh, I get. You want to get a list for your burial don't be silly <laughs> they're just things i'd love to do if i eventually get out of here you know hopefully okay i've been thinking of doing i mean why why don't i just write it now it's been on my mind for a very long time i don't know why i just keep postponing and man it's as well just do it bro I, I keep this year so sometimes I, I'm inspired to write things, events and everything, so this becomes handy. Yeah, there's a lot I would, I would like to do if I live here. But I've just been slowing down on some things. Make plenty of this. And can I I'll, see it? Of course you can't. Why? You can't. I mean, I, why, why don't you just write yours? No. No, you can. No, not me. Why not? <laughs> just it, write yours. No. Uh, just write it. No, why It doesn't I, no. change anything. I mean, just take right. Oh. Michael, look, you have nothing to lose. Besides, we might not even live long enough to do these, these things. Just do something out of the box. I mean, there are people you want to see if you eventually live here, places you like to visit, okay. people you like to love more and all. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> I got another pen here, so. Okay. I would love, I would love to see how my life and take a new be just you know what what I would give this to you on one condition what's that? That uh, you don't open this until I leave here or get us still until I die. And two, if I die before you, you get to fulfill everything in this wish list and yours. And vice versa, if the case is reversed. What I'm trying to say is whoever dies, the other person would have to fulfill the other person's wish list. And yes. And if we both die? Then the list dies with us. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, deal? Yes, deal. <laughs> it's nice doing business with you. I see business with you, Mr. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not done writing, though. I, I think I, I'll just relax and write mine. Yeah, I should probably do the same thing in my comfort zone. Yeah, uh, yeah write mine. I'll put this in an envelope and you can open it. Okay? Okay, I'll yeah, try. Yeah, no matter what happens, oh. nobody uh. opens anybody's. Okay. Okay. Ah. 
I just need a friend. I just need someone. Just a need for a long run. Someone who will care. I just need to care. I just want us to love. Need us to talk much. Need us to walk. If we are no brothers, what are we then? If we can't stay together, what do you want then? If we are no brothers, what are we then? If we can't stay together, what do you want then? If we are no brothers, what are we then? If we can't stay together. Penny, for your thought. Finally, you notice me. I always notice you, Michael. You know you have beautiful eyes, right? Thank you. But I'm afraid this disease has filled them with worry. But they're still so beautiful. This disease does not own us. And you cannot allow it to decide who you are. Hmm. Coming from someone that is always negative. <laughs> That's a change. That's a good one. But to be honest with you, this disease owns us and it has defined our lives. We're just a timing bomb waiting to explode. You know, I'm not always negative. I'm just angry. This disease does not decide who I am. I shouldn't let it decide who you are too. No. Look, um, I have a cancerous tumor growing in my lungs. stage 3 cancer but hell I would not go down without a fight I'll fight it to the very end all my strength and all my might and that's why I'm here getting the camo trying to survive the doctors say I would progress to stage four soon. Mm. Well, here I am. Clinging on to that. That's amazing because when there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. I don't yeah. believe that. Look at us. Don't you have a will? I have a will. I mean, we both have will. Where is the way? Mm. There's no way. Mm. That's true. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I only know you by your disease. <laughs> <laughs> Who were you before this? All of this. Mm. My name is Loveth Chidi. I also have lung cancer. I'm on stage two, and it may advance to stage three, according to the doctors. I'm just angry. And I'm, I'm angry because I lived a boring life. I ate healthy. I was never open to exploring life. I, I was careful about life. I was careful about everything. And when this disease came, so I was really broken. I, I, I was 
careful about life. I just let life pass through me. I was living life like a zombie. I, I felt if I lived carefully, I'd, I'd live longer. And if I lived life decently, I'd, I'd live long enough to get married to a good man. But look at me, I, I, I didn't know life had other plans for me, plans I, I wasn't expecting at all. I'm really angry, I'm upset. I'm angry, but I just don't want to live life. I'm really, I'm really angry. I'm upset. But I just don't want to die angry at the world. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What's funny? It's just uh, looking at you. You're such an optimistic person, and uh, it's just a relief knowing that I'm not the only angry person in the world. No, I, I told you it's hard to be optimistic when your body fails you every day. You know what really hurts? What hurts is the fact that we're alive today. Tomorrow we might just be dead. It's life throwing lemons at you. Lemons that you cannot turn into lemonade. You just have to swallow it. It's bitter, sour taste. Life throws this lemon at you and expects you to turn it to lemon aid, but um, that's a conversation for another day. You know, today we are alive. It's just as if we, we come into life and we only come into life just to die. Because you, you walk through life and you experience life and death is waiting. All gonna die. That's life throwing lemon at you. Lemons that you cannot turn into lemonade. That's so true. Life is sweet, yet sour. We just have to accept our lots. And for people like us, when we get to live each day, you sleep, you wake up the next day, it's a miracle. But I'm, I'm here with you. So we're going to fight this deadly disease to the end together. Okay. I just came to check on you. Yeah. Just. Sorry. Oh, oh, what? Are you okay? Nurse! Help! Help! Nurse! 
Kom, 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 kom. Kom, kom, kom. Heal her. Deliver her from this illness. Let's, let's not lose her, dear Lord. Let's not lose her. I know I have done terrible things. I have, I have sinned against you. I have done the most ungodly things, but they say you are a merciful God. They also say that you're the giver and you're the taker of life. Father, please give her her life. Please don't take this life away from her. Now she's hanging in the thin line of between life and death. Father, please give her a second chance. Whether I have believed in you or not, oh Lord, but this is the time for you to show that you are real, that you are just God. Father, please let her not die. I know she is healed. She is healed. You will not die. You will not die. I will celebrate you. You will see the end of this sickness in the name of Jesus. Nothing will happen to you. With this, your leg, you will go home with me. You will go home with me. How is she? She will be fine. She will be fine. Doctor said this. 50-50 chance. She's still in danger. She's not in danger. My daughter is no longer in danger. I'm standing in the gap for her. I decree and I declare that nothing will happen to her. She will go home with me. Before that death will kill her, you have to take me. Uh, <laughs> she is very lucky to have you by her side. Very, very lucky because you are a formidable force. And as far as God is alive, she would be alive too. Yes, I know. I know she Thank you very much. That I will not die. You will not die. My God will not forsake me.
Thank you for restoring Lovett's life. You have shown that you are indeed a merciful God and this is indeed a miracle. I know I have burnt bridges. So many bridges I can't even count. But Father, today you have proven to me that you can make a bond bridge whole again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. All I am interested in right now is you getting out of this bed and getting out of here. What? No, you had a life. You even had a good one. You had a good job. You had friends. And you are saying you don't have a life. You have to be grateful for the little things you had, love it. Life is too short. I mean, look at us here. No, you don't have to apologize to me. A heart of gratitude goes a long way. See, you have to be grateful for waking up every day. Because I sing praises to God every single day that I see you wake up. Hi, child. Hey. Oh. Good morning, Welcome. Hey. Good to see you back. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's okay Why you feel if you if you feel pain. Uh, yeah, I that you, you, care you for have some. no friends. Um, I tell you it's okay. okay. Together <laughs> we'll stay. Uh, so that reminds me. You're gonna you get a pen and a paper, you and you're gonna write down all the fun things that you want to do. And we're going to take them one after the other until we finish every single one of them. But we can't, we're both sick. Yes, but I mean, watching you on this bed looking lifeless just made me realize that life is short and we have what is left of it, so... And what would that list entail? <laughs> because this one that you people are talking about uh, fun things, I hope you're not planning on skydiving, no? No. <laughs> You can be our chaperone, and this adventure won't kill. <laughs> I volunteer gladly. Oh, we are interested. Very much. Go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <do> it, test. <laughs> do it, test. Oh gosh. Nice to see you again. Baby girl. Look at my baby girl. Oh my god. I'm so scared. Oh, I'll just oh, fix my room. Get her pizza. Yes, 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 yes. You can finish that. No, 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 no. We need pizza. Yes, I want pizza. Let me see.
very happy that today we are really the same thing, not connected to artificial oxygen. I'm going to try something fun. Like what? Cheating! That's cheating! Come here! <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. Uh, once you come, you can meet me here. No. Okay. You come back here. Sorry. Come back here and start. Start again. Uh, what about? Um, no, that'll be it. No, that'll be it. Uh, it's not bad. No, it's not advisable. I see have some energy it's left here. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! wait. <laughs> Wait, that's not quite simple! So. <laughs> Why? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, sorry! <laughs> sorry! Oh my god, that was damn! That was damn a thrill! You like it? Dude. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, how about we. Why would they allow us? We are adults. And besides, who knows how long we have left on this on this beautiful earth. Yourself worried over these dates. Stop, I'm not getting myself worried. I haven't been on a date in a while. It's important, it's a big deal. I have to look good. Okay. Then you would have told your boyfriend to take you if you must go on a date. And me like this, I don't support premarital affairs. I'm not married to Kenneth. Am I married to him? It's not like I plan on going to cheat on him. Well, look, we're both sick. We just we just want to have fun. Make something out of this moment. And we can't just sit down waiting to die. Mm? We can. Stop it. I've told you to stop talking about it. You're not going anywhere. I'm just worried about you getting I'm, worked up over this day. But I'm worried that you're not even helping me and I know who to call right now because... Right. I'm sorry, I can't bend down. Thank you, Mom. So why are you not burning? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Isabel. Hi, darling. Look, babe, I need your help. What is it? Okay, so I have a date and I'm confused. I don't know what to wear. I'm just thinking of wearing my hospital gown there. I don't know. You have a date? Yes, I do. Exactly what I just said. Oh, wow. With that cute guy, right? What's his name again? Um, Michael. Oh, yeah, Michael. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Bye, baby girl. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, love you, thank you, thank you. You see, mom? So I'm thinking, would you think that I do a loud and simple makeup? <laughs> don't just leave me alone. Are you hoping my nails? <laughs> you fix a longer one for me? <laughs> oh, just happy I'm going on a date, that's it. Hello! to glam up your face. I don't understand makeup. You want to make me up? I was just joking with my, my mom that I wanted makeup. I don't think, I don't want it. Why? You need to look beautiful. You're going out. It's not a good idea. I can't. Even a corpse can be made up, my darling. Don't worry. I'm going to make you look so beautiful. Ah! Don't worry. 
I will use foundation and cover up this. It will come out so beautiful and you're going to look so beautiful. How can you use foundation? Look. Yes, of course. I will use foundation and cover it up. Don't worry. It will come out. Mommy, it will come out. I just want her to look beautiful. But she's going now. Just watch me. Watch me, girl. I know be celebrity makeup artist for nothing, girl. <laughs> just watch me. She said she want love, love and she want love. So fine, so fine, so fine. Baby, I can't lie. Been thinking long now. You're the one, you're the one, the one, the one, yeah, yeah. Baby, you love, loving me back. So many times I can come in here. You make me so mad. You make me so hot, girl. You make me so emotional. But I still love you like that. Can I keep each other? Me and each other. Me and me. Can I keep each other? Me and each other. Me and me. Can I keep each other? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Uh. Can I keep each other? Oh no, baby, I wanna let you know that uh, My heart and my soul want you to be close to me I'll never let you down for it You'll be the one for me for it Baby, uh, I've never seen a woman that make you smile Like the way you ever make me do The way you make me wanna make yourself in two Baby, you made me one of the finest men. I treat you like the finest girl. Like I can never find a woman. I would treat me so that I'll be the best here. I'll make you my main man, even when I can't cry. I'm gonna get Get a good job. Get a good name. Get a good job. Sex. No more people cry mm. watching those kind of movies. Oh, boy, really? down. Sweet. Down. Yeah, <laughs> well, um, this is not like I don't want to sign this for having sex with you. It's just that I, I don't like the size of us. Okay. Um, I'm fun. Thanks for coming and giving me. Thank you. Thank you for my invitation. Where are the <laughs> Well, I, I have something planned for tomorrow. Really? That would be so amazing. I 
You said you would let me be, no matter how hard, hey, how hard I try to show you that I'm not. You're gonna let me be, anyway, so bad. I try to understand you. Maybe you should go check on her. I should go check on you. Yeah, I think so. You said you would let me be. Don't be your friend. I don't want to lose. I try to let you see more than I will. You won't let me be any way I am. I try to understand you. I try to understand you. Dead. No, 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 no,
please, you need to sleep. Eh? Let me just rest my head here before no sis will come and catch me. No, it's against that. is fighting with you, okay? Gosh, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> to see you. I'm, so, I'm really happy. So what are we doing today? No, What's that look? We're, we're not doing anything. You're just recovering. No. No, no, no. We're going to do something every day and every day, okay? Every day must count. No, but we're not doing look, anything. Look, that's why we're going to be with you. Whatever I'm doing, it's going to be within the hospital, okay? All right? What do you plan on doing? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> what? <sighs> what are we doing? You'll see. <laughs> That's why I have a phone. There's an internet in here, right? So we can watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> one time. That makes sense. One time. Time for uh, my baby. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, don't do that. He doesn't to to have a boyfriend. I can't. I understand. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, do you know I just realized something? Yeah, what is, what is that? I, I really don't know you too well. Like, I don't know anything about you. What is there to know? My name is Michael Okoye. I know Six that. Six foot two. I know that. Tall, fair, and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> you got dimples. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and 32. Nice. <laughs> one gone. That's no one. Way. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my man, I mean, what Your you see? Family? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to cry. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I have parents and uh, a brother. We're not in speaking terms. But yeah, I don't like talking about about them. Yeah, I understand. So that's why I don't see them around. But no, I mean, we have doctors here and nurses to take care it's of me. Okay For instance, if you, if you do <laughs> she does a really good job. I she does. <laughs> so I feel kind of good. I tell you it's okay together with I'm sorry, I didn't know you know you I help you stand. Since when did I start needing an invite to see my girlfriend? Oh, to oh, 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 o
Giggling and laughing? Nothing? Yeah, nothing. What is this? You're cheating on him? What's that supposed to mean? He's sick, he's dying. So am I. So am I, Kenneth. I'm also dying. Why the hell are you still with me? Kenneth, why are you still with me? If you don't, if you don't care for sick people, why the hell are you still with me? He's gonna die, so am I. I'm also gonna die. Stop, stop, tell me you're sorry. Why the hell are you with me if you don't care about sick people? Because I'm gonna die, so I'm dead. Just get out, get, get out. Just, no, can I just go? Don't, don't arrest me. Just leave, leave, leave the left house. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just, just go, just, please. It's just, just take it easy. Can you just leave the house? It's a premises. I'm gonna call the security on you. Just get out, just go. I, I keep telling my mom that having ice cream twice a week won't kill me. Easy. I'm telling you, it will just help me replace the weight I lost due to chemo. <laughs> I need some calories in my life. Even the doctor told her, but yeah, she still say, no, she can't take ice cream. No, she can't take ice cream. The doctors were like, let her take. She said, no, no, no. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. If that's the case, I'll be sneaking in some ice cream for you. You know I know how much you love ice cream, right? You know I can kiss you <laughs> for this. You know? Ew. I don't swing that way. Girl. I know I don't swing. <laughs> Thank you. Babes, mm -hmm. Ken told me what happened. What he saw. Did he tell you how he wished Michael would die because he's sick? Or he doesn't think same about me because I'm his girlfriend? Babes, you know how Ken is now. No, can you just stop, 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 please? If he wishes Michael death because he's sick, then he also wishes me death. How the hell is this thing with me if he thinks Michael is going to die? He also thinks I'm also going to die. Babes, you know he loves you. And he was just jealous. He was jealous? Yeah. Did you just say jealous? Look, Isabel, if he loves me, then he will love every sick person out there. He would empathize with them, not wishing them death. How can he even love me if he doesn't love all the sick people out there? How? Babes, I get you. But please, try and talk to him. He said he's been calling you all morning, but you refuse to take his calls. Please. I'm not ready to talk to him. Please now, babes. I'm not. Don't deprive him of his time with you. Not now, not at this moment. When I'm almost dying, right? Oh, please stop it. Put yourself in his shoes. In our shoes. How would you feel if the tables were reversed? How? Please, love it. I'm begging you. Talk to him, please. That's my girl. That's my girl. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the ice cream. You're smiling now, you're not smiling. Can I have a smile? Oh, wait, Joe. <laughs> I'll take my ah. ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just because you bought me ice cream. Mm. 
But you're enjoying it now. And you ruined it. Today was a very good day. Yeah. I wish I had more time. There's so much I want to do. Me too. Too bad. The clock is ticking against us. I'm in love with you, love it. I have feelings for you too. Feelings I can't. I'm going to die happy, man. I wish death never comes for us. Even if it comes, I... I hope there's an afterlife. So that I can be with you again. Come right in. Before I play the music, we need to create them all together. So. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can't him at the moment. Why? He's indisposed. Is, is everything okay? Yes, he's fine. Okay, um, can I just um get, I just want to say like good morning to him too. Don't worry, you'll see him later. Just in a couple of hours. Go back to your room. In a couple of hours. Is he fine? Yes, he's fine. Okay, thank you. No, so, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I should go to your room. I'm okay, sorry about that. Sorry. Please, can I just see him? Please. 
Me not jump me down. Can you just say, please? I just wanna say, my baby, please. Love it. Hold on. He's fine. But right now, he's not doing well. So you, no one is allowed in there. Please. No family members there. Nobody. There is no one. Can I just say, my baby, please? I wish I can help you. <laughs> No vets. <laughs> if you don't agree to go with me, I will. I will drag myself out. I'll drag you. I'll drag myself all the way out there. You know me. I know you, but that's not a good idea. Look at you. You can't even walk. I said so. You can't. I can't. You can't. <laughs> Sorry. Look, I just want to lie down and. Watch the moon with you. Okay. Alright, uh, grab what you can grab. Pillow, blanket, whatever you can grab. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let me help you. No. I can't. Let me help you. No, I got this. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Let me help you. No, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. I want to stay with you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'll give you more than this world I'll give you love without odds I'll give you more than this world I'll bring small things I'll be your light in your darkness I'll give you though I'm not God I'll give you more than my heart. 
to call them when he's dead. He also asked me to give you this. He said you know what to do with them.
<laughs> Michael died. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, okay? Harvard, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry, okay? I, I wasn't sensitive and stupid. Please, please forgive me. I'm begging you, okay? I wish I could take back the hands of time. Ken, look. I'm sorry, you can't be an item anymore. Look, I love you, but I can't keep telling you to myself. I just feel like I'm tying you. And I, I might be dying very soon. I just wouldn't want you to to mourn me when I die. It hurts losing someone close to you. I wouldn't want to do that to you. Babe, please. I know what I said hurt you, okay? I know that. But please, don't do this to me. It's not about what you said. It's about, it's about me. I, I, I just want you to live your life. I just want you to go out there and live your life. Please understand me, please. Babe, but that is my decision. I to know, make. but I feel like I'm tying you and I don't want to. I, you don't tie me I am, I am. I, 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 I am tying you, please. I just, just, I really love you, but I, I don't want to do this to you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want when I'm gone. I don't want you mourning, please. I'm not sad. You're you not are sad. I just can't look at I, I I don't love you anymore. Yes, I said it. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I don't love you anymore. I'm sorry. Please I'm just sorry. let me know. Please, I cannot take it no more. I am sorry, Ken. I am sorry. What? Yourself, otherwise, grief will kill you before this disease does. I don't want to die. I've been waiting to die so I can be with you. Shut up! I want to die! Shut don't up. let me die! Let you me should shut up! Let me what die. do you mean? You want to die? Don't want to how die! Me that I've been in this hospital for how many months? You think he wants you to die? Is that what you're thinking? He wants you to move on with your life. You don't be trying to move on, but I can't. He entrusted so much with me that I don't even know if I will live long enough to do all of it. You will do it. Oh. You will do it and you have to do it. You have to stay and fight and do the only thing he asks of you. The power of life and death lies with God. You see yourself. They, they, they have come to, to know why we are shouting. They've had your voice. Good day, ma'am. Good day, doctor. Miss Lobet, how are you today? She's fine. We have great news. Okay, what is the news about? We carried out a series of tests on your daughter a week ago. Physical exams and all shows that all signs of cancer are gone. Jesus! Yes. Jesus! I knew it! I knew he would do it. Yes, I can say that all signs and symptoms of cancer in your body has disappeared. You are in complete remission. I knew it! But that, that doesn't mean you are totally cured. She's totally cured. She's totally cured. For now, we cannot detect cancer in your body. I will advise that you come in for checkups and physical examination. Wow! Wow! Thank you, Jesus! Lord, I give you all the glory. 
you, Chris. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let us see you. Let me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. Come here. Mm, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> you, why are you still crying? I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just happy that you're back home. I mean, I prayed for this day and mm. now that it's finally here, I can't help but cry. You're such an amazing friend. It's so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything and this frame. <laughs> this frame kept it going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's good to have you back home now. Stop, you guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you for everything. Thank you. Stop saying thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, I just wish I could scream it from the mountain top that my friend is cancer free. Well, no one will hear you from the mountain because people don't live close to the mountain. <laughs> Who cares about the mountain when I have been disturbing them on all my social media platforms? Social media is mountain enough. Okay. True that. <laughs> Kenny and uh, Isabel, I want to use this opportunity to say a very huge thank you to both of you for being with my daughter all through this trying period. I saw all you did and I appreciate all of it. And I pray that God in his infinite mercy will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Both of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, babes. Mm -hmm. Now that you're out of the hospital, mm -hmm. there's a lot of fun to be had, and trust me, you didn't miss much. Mm -hmm. And you can as well make up for the lost times by coming out from your shell and going out there to have mad fun. Okay. And I am willing <laughs> oh, gosh. and ready mm -hmm. to be your chakra. Okay, when I feel like get back my body and maybe grow my hair, you know how much I love my natural hair. What? But you know how much I love my natural hair. Yeah, I do. I'm in love with all these. <laughs> <laughs> Bald is the new sexy now, no. Mm. I mean, girls on low cut are getting all the men. Really? Yeah, and guys nowadays, no one spend money for expensive wig. <laughs> yeah, and if you think I'm lying, you can ask. <laughs> ask? No, no, there's no asking me. Come on. <laughs> You're beautiful with or without your hair. That's what Auntie Lisa is trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> so when do we start? Um, what? Cool. <laughs> See how you just killed the vice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, I'm yes, food in the kitchen. Oh yes, I'm food. I made rice. Okay. So go to the kitchen and I bring you some. Okay, I'm going to. Oh. Stop. What? You know I've missed you. You missed the sex and that's all. Fine, I missed the sex. What, what's there? What's, oh, no. what's not there? We have to stop doing this. She's back now. Yeah, I know, but then, come on, it's just a kiss. Stop. I don't, I don't want trouble, please. You don't want trouble. I don't want love it, trouble, please. But there's no trouble. It's just you and I here. It's just a kiss. Come on.
Tell me what you think. How long? Shh. How, how long? Shh. Don't come, don't come close. Just answer my question. How, don't come close. How long? How long does this woman know? How long? For your death, never. <laughs> My love. Don't you dare call me that name. Babes, believe me, I never prayed for you to die. We were just heartbroken by this situation. And in our moment of grief, we 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 won! We won! I can't believe this! You won! I'm sorry! You guys just Sorry, so I got so blind. I wish I was never by your side. I wish I could pray that I shouldn't date you. But what you did has created more than was. I wish you could well, but it would be mean. I wish I wasn't good at this point. I wish I never fell for a one like you. I wish I never met in you. Oh, you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good 
My name is Loveth, my course friend. Uh, Mrs. Sokoye. Uh, uh, the security told me you had something for us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have a message for you from Michael. Please have a seat. Thank you. Honey, we have a visitor. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, young lady. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. She said she's um, love it. Love it. Uh, Micah's friend uh, oh. said she has something for us. Oh, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, let me call the maid to get you something to drink. Okay, ma'am. But what, what is fine because I'm just recovering. You are sick too? Yes, ma'am. That was how I met Michael. Oh, I see. I'm happy for you, but my son Michael didn't make it. I'm so sorry for your loss, ma'am. Forgive my girl after depriving me of the opportunity okay. to spend the last moment with him. And he ruined the family. And he left for reasons best not to him. I'm so sorry. Can you imagine? Receiving a call from nowhere telling you your son is dead and in the mug. Can you imagine how devastated I was? Yes, my I'm so, so devastated. <laughs> easy, honey. Yeah? Take um, it easy. When I got to the hospital, I found out that my son has been there for the past six months. He was there for six gold bones! I'm so sorry. Hi, Chibo! I'm so sorry. They said he had cancer! I'm so sorry. Ah! Michael has shredded me into. Sorry. Take it easy. Different! He shredded me into pieces! Can you 
so sorry. I can't stand it anymore. No, no. I can't. Easy. No. Easy. Easy. No. Easy. 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 <laughs> Cannot be going through no, this my huh? car, my car has broken me. Oh, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, oh. it's okay. Young lady, Michael could have given us this letter by himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He could have made amends by himself. Yes, sir. I know. He's our child. We will forgive him. Yes. We will not throw him away. No matter what. Now he left on his own because he could not live with himself after what he did. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. So sorry, sir, sir um, if, if I may ask, please, what, what did Michael do? He didn't tell you? No, he, he didn't. I guess it's for the best then. Mm. <sighs> Sir, please, Ma, whatever he did, just please forgive him. Please. We are forgiving him long before now. Mm. We have. Sadly. If not, he wouldn't have been invited, allowed in here. By now. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I say have other things to do because he asked me to. I, but, but I will need your help. I will need your help. Only yours had um, an address on it. But my um, David and Amara, I, I don't know how to contact them. David is his brother. He lives in Abuja. And I'm very certain not ready for any conversation that regards Michael. And for the good reasons too. What, what, what did Michael do? <laughs> it is not in our place to tell you. Okay. From the letter, I found out that Michael had a son. I, I didn't know about it. He didn't tell me about it. Well, we would go and look for both the mother and child and take very good care of them since that is the only legacy he left behind for us. Yes? Thank you, sir. Thank take you, ma. Take good care of them. Thank you, ma. You don't have to thank us. It is our responsibility. We'll find them. And when the video turns, we'll contact you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I would um, have to take my leave home. I'm so I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Can you imagine how devastated I was? He shredded me to pieces! Can you imagine? God, Michael, I'm so scared to continue. I do not know what else I will learn about you. Your parents keep talking about something horrible you did, but no one is telling me anything. No one. You kept me in the dark. Please help me. This scares me. I mean, the hurt in your mother's eyes. The pain in your father's face. God, I need your help. Please. What are you doing? Please. Please. I don't understand. How, what do you need to give you? Please. Isabel. What? 
are you doing in my house? Babes, I'm sorry. You're sorry about what? are you sorry for? It's about where do you want me to start forgiving you from? Where? Knowing while I was on that sick bed, you were screaming my boyfriend? No. It's about if tables were turned, would you forgive me? I'm sorry. Would you forgive me? I feel as much. So all that I got you, you got me shit. Was you indirectly telling me you were screaming my boyfriend? No. Babes, I can't go on knowing you can't forgive me. I'm sorry. So I don't hate you. You're my only friend and I love you, love it. If you loved me, you wouldn't do this to me. Look, I don't hate you and I've forgiven you. I just can't be friends with you anymore. But you said you didn't want him. You wanted Michael. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Listen to yourself. Isabel, just listen to yourself. I loved Kenny. And Kenny meant everything to me. He meant every single thing to me. Even before I met Michael. And you started your shit before I met Michael. So don't stand here and tell me nonsense. I'm sorry. Just get out of my house. It all happened in the moment of grief. And trust me, it meant nothing. It meant nothing yet you guys continued in my kitchen. I, I don't want to push you up. Just take it back and I'm sorry, just get out. <sighs> You guys were like sisters, even from childhood. But my daughter, I would want you to forgive her. You've been given another chance at life, remember? In less than a month, we came back from the hospital. It would have been a month that you were dead. We were given another chance. Please. It just hurt. I know. <laughs> just... Okay, let's do it this way. Even if you don't want to be friends with her anymore, it's fine. But just try and forgive her for your peace and even hers too. <laughs> just so <Okay>. hurt. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't. It hurt. I totally understand. I know. So, okay? You did not survive this deadly sickness for you to come and start worrying yourself over getting a job. Oh, look, I'm just confused. I don't know what to do with my life. One day I'm getting ready to die. The next day I'm... I have a life ahead of me. I don't know what to do. I just feel getting a job is, is a good start. I know. I agree with you that getting a job is the best way to start. But, how about your, is it wish list that be your bucket list? Wish list, bucket list, uh, same thing, please. <laughs> so, how far have you gone with it? 
Are you done with it? Not yet. Um, I haven't heard from his parents concerning his brother and Amara. They've just been silent. Don't worry. Everything will be fine So You will hear from them. Yes, I just need to, need to do another CV. This one's uh, outdated. Uh, you have to take these things one after the other. I mean, I just... Remember I promised. I'll get a job. So I, so I want something really strong, <laughs> maybe like vodka, yeah, something very strong. Yeah. Thank you. So what do I do? I Squeeze this into the vodka. This tastes like acid, but I like it. I like Okay, please, fresh. Tell me that you were home. Jesus. Is everything okay? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Wait, wait. Jesus, wait. Quick. Are you okay? Yeah. You look sick. Okay, go shut. I, I feel like I'm going to be sick. Jesus. It's like I'm seeing a ghost. My, what? My God. Michael! Michael! Um, Michael, that's my twin brother. Michael has a twin brother? David! David! You are David! David! I've been looking for you, like I've been looking everywhere for you. I went to your mom, I went to your mom's house, and I saw your mom, I saw your, your, your dad, and, and you told me don't call. Yeah, because your brother gave me something to give you. Why are you looking for me? He, he, he gave me something to give you, and Jesus, like I've been looking for you everywhere. Sorry, excuse me. Um, if it's about my brother, I don't want to hear anything that concerns him. Okay. No, hold on. Please, just, just he have, gave have me a letter nice to give you, sir. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Gosh, I should have taken it easy. Wait. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, please look, please. Wait, if you can, just just a minute, what, please. What, I. What do you want from me? Just a minute, please. I need to talk to you, please. Just a minute, one minute, Honestly, and I'm done. I am not interested. In I'm begging you, please, please, just listen. Hear me out, please, please. Come inside. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is it you said you want to tell me about my brother? <sighs> okay. So your brother gave me a letter to give you. You know my brother? Yes, I do know him. We met at the hospital. We we're patients there. I had lung cancer. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's all right. I, I know I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm on remission now, so I'm good. You're lucky. Thank you. I am. Just thank God. Oh, well, my mom told me about someone that, you know, brought letters to the house, and I really wasn't interested in listening to what she had to say. I was okay. not in that mood. Okay. But it's. Surprising how you run into me here. I mean, it's fate. I don't believe in fate. Oh, well, you sound so much like your brother. <laughs> no, I'm not like him. Okay. So, what about the letter? It's, Do you have it here? Yeah, no, it's in the house, and my house isn't just, it's not far from here. If you can drive down to the house. Uh, you didn't drive? No, I didn't. Alright. You, you Thank you. I'm 
sorry about the way I it's spoke okay, to you. It's alright. I mean, it's understandable. Jesus! <laughs> that was my reaction the first time I saw him, too. So. David, meet my mom. Who comes? Oh, Michael. Oh, then go get the letter. Sure. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Please sit. Thank you. That's the brother. That's not him. He works. You and your brother look so much alike. Wow. What is this? Welcome. Thank you. So when we're sick, Michael and I, we made a, a wish list, more like a bucket list of the things we would do if we survived. And he only agreed to it based on two conditions. One was that whoever leaves will fulfill the other person's bucket list. And if we both die, the list dies with us. The second one was we made a promise not to open the letter at all until the first dies. I mean, it was a cool arrangement at first, but I didn't realize what Michael's list would contain. Mine, as you can see, are just a bunch of things I wanted to do. Just silly things. <laughs> Lots of sex. So slow. Mom, relax. I'm an adult. Re <laughs> what? Okay, let me just have my list. Please stop. Just. That was part of the whole. No, that's my own list. Okay. It's okay. <sighs> Michael's list took me by surprise. I've been able to contact your parents because Via has had an address and they told me they would reach out to me when you were in town. Thankfully, we ran into each other. It's just that I, I live in Abuja, so I'm in town from time to time. And sometimes I don't let them know I'm around till like uh, stayed about three days or so. Okay. Let me just read this. What are you saying, Dad? You have no rights, absolutely no rights, Dad. I mean, look, 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 I have every single right to your wealth and your properties. The same way Dave has access to your stuff, okay? I'm your fresh son. I was born before this dude. Michael, you're a lie. Who told you that? Huh? Michael, you, you are a dress. Michael, you are a straw fucker. You are, you, Michael, he made everything. He made, he made everything in the Michael. Yeah? So you want me? to put my company and everything I've worked with for my entire life in your hands. Who does that? No, tell me, who does that? For someone like you? For someone like you? No. <laughs> Michael, I just gave you the Enugu arms of the company to manage. Just for experiment. And what happened to it? You know everything. You know, yeah? You spend everything in one go. You spend my money in alcohol and useless things. And here you are telling me I'm the first son, I have right, I have left. 
That shows that you have nothing in that boss you are carrying there. Go ahead. And listen, and listen very good. I am going to hand everything over to money to your brother here. David, your brother here. And that's fine now. So good. All I hear you say is Michael this, Michael that, Michael this. You want to put Dave in charge of me, right? Yeah. Or that. What my dead body is not going to happen. You just said it with your mouth. Get ready to die, Michael. Because <laughs> I will never give you anything to manage for me. Oh, wow. Please. Please forgive him, please. 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 On behalf of your brother, please have mercy. Please, just get up, please. Please. Please get up, okay? You've done enough for him already. I mean, you've helped him right his wrongs. Something that he couldn't do by himself. I'm sure he was, he was too embarrassed. So he was to do these things himself. Yeah. I'm sorry to ask. Oh, what is it he did that is so bad that you can't forgive him? I'm sorry if this makes you uncomfortable. He sent hit me. To kill me. They shot at me and they left me for dead. I was in coma for, for more than two weeks. Blood of Jesus. Michael wanted my father's wealth so much. And he was ready to kill for it. He was ready to go any extent to achieve it. I mean, after the hitman shot at me and I managed to survive it, they were caught. Wow. And Michael fled. He ran away from the country. No one knew where he was. No one could find him. I mean, for Christ's sakes, we didn't even know if he was dead or alive. He just fled. For two years, I didn't see my brother. I didn't know where my brother was. And out of the blue, I get a phone call saying he's dead. So sorry. Look, uh, what really hurts me is the fact that for months before he died, he was in the country. He was around. Yes, he was sick, but he didn't try to reach out to anyone. My parents, our parents, were left devastated. They were sad because they didn't know where their son was. I know. They couldn't understand. And me, his brother. I know. I mean, he couldn't even try to reach out to me. I know. He could have done this himself. He could have done this himself. <sighs> Gosh, I really understand. Did your mother tell you about all these, anything about all these, what I told her? I mean, my parents, our parents, we left them sad 
because they didn't know where he was. He denied us the chance of spending those last moments with him. I know. I mean, his brother. I know. He didn't even try to reconnect with me. I mean, he could have done all this himself. He could have done all this himself. I would have, I would have made him, like, do the right thing if I had an idea of the content of his bucket list. Just please forgive him so he can rest. Please. Yes, my soul. Please forgive your brother. Please. Please. I forgive him. Thank you. I forgive him. I know, uh, I know Amara. I don't know who Junior is. I know that he was dating Amara for well over two years, they were on and off. But I don't know if Amara is the mother of the, the child we spoke about. Okay. Did your mother tell you anything about all this? Like what I told her? Yeah. She told me about the lady that. Uh, that should be you. I came to see her with letters from Michael and she spoke about how Michael wanted about forgiveness. But I don't get it. I don't get it. He, he didn't try. He didn't try to reconnect with his family, with his brother. He didn't try to reconnect with any of us. Instead, he left it to a total stranger. I'm sorry. But it's what it is. He left it to a stranger to clean up his mess. It's okay. I understand. I understand. I do understand. It's okay. Uh, tomorrow I'll take you to meet Amara. Thank you. I should be able to, to find her. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, can I get water? Sure. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, It's me, Dave. I'm what do you brother. want, David? I thought I told your brother I don't want to see him again. And he sent you? <sighs> Michael is dead. So sorry. He, he really died of cancer. You knew he had cancer? He, he was here six months ago. <sighs> telling me how he had cancer and how he was dying. He wanted to see his son, but I didn't let him. I thought he was trying to get back into my life and I told him I wish he dies. Oh God, I'm sorry. You know how he was to me. Yeah. I just couldn't forgive him. It's okay. Um, by the way, this is Lovett. She was in the hospital at the same time with Michael. They both had cancer, but now she's on remission. I'm so sorry about everything. So he told me to give us. Amara, my friend, my love, the mother of my child, the woman who gave me everything and got nothing but disrespect. I hate myself for all I put you through, for all I did, for all I put you through. Amara, where are you coming from? I went to see my friend. You went to see your friend? So, Mara, you're not carrying your pregnancy to go and sleep with men around. How will you say this to me, Michael? I just went to see my friend. You know her. You left my house to go and look for. You know I would never do that to you, Michael. You know I would never do that to you. Oh my God! No! 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 No!
Beat me. Jesus. Not once. Not twice. Constantly. For the slightest things. Sometimes he's as sweet as an angel. Other times he's the devil himself. Yeah. That's the Michael I know. Jesus, this makes me wonder at the part of Michael I met. Look, Robert, I don't want you feeling bad about this, okay? The Michael you met was a dying man. And he was trying to right his wrongs. So that's the picture you should see in your head all the time. Okay? He, he, he dropped his pin and documents for his son. According to this letter, he, he, he wants us to move to his apartment in Lekki. Yeah, I, I, can, I can move you in there tomorrow if it's okay by you. I've been meaning to ask where you and Michael are an item. No, but we loved each other. And I saw parts of him, beautiful parts of him. But the Michael I've heard about these past weeks, I don't think I'm happy about it. But I'm glad I met him. I'm glad that I met the better part of him. The better version of him. We loved each other, but we just didn't do anything because I had a boyfriend at the time. We were both sick and we're just concerned about you know, surviving the next day. Oh, yeah. I thought you guys were. No, no, we, we didn't. I'm so sorry for your loss, David. I know how close you guys were. I always talked about you, even though I met you just once. Thank you, Amara. Thank you for forgiving my brother. I just want you to know that I'll always be there for you, okay? No matter what. And your son, is he, is he around? Yeah, I'm about to kill him to his crutch. Oh, well, yeah, is it okay if I see him? Okay, just hold on. Oh my god. Hey. Hi. Hey. Come here. Hey. Oh, look at you. Give me five. Daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm Uncle Dave. And I want you to know, tomorrow I will yeah. come and pick you. I will go and see Grandpa and Grandma, and they will yeah. be happy to see you. Okay? Give me five. Oh, <laughs> so, so <sweet>. cute. <laughs> <laughs> they will be happy to see you. Okay, um, so we're already running late now, so we'll take it. Um, can I can I drop you guys? No, no, no. It's not a bother. It's just a few blocks away. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, yeah. Alright, take care. Bye. I'll be in touch. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, see you. All right. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sure. Bye. Bye. So adorable. So, um,. You and Michael will never, uh, you know. No. Never. Uh, so, um, can I take you out on a date tomorrow, 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. And it has nothing to do with your wish list. You know? <laughs> Stop it. So, you know. Which of them? <laughs> Which of them? You know the things you are asking for your wish list? It has nothing to do with it.
I know you must know who I really am by now. I never claimed to be a saint, but I never told you I was Satan's apprentice either. That was who I was before I met you. I am sorry I deceived you. I couldn't face my family or Amara. And when I found out death was coming for me, I chickened out completely. But when you brought up the idea of a wish list, I thought was not half hard to do the dirty work for me. And for that, I am sorry. My mess was mine to take care of, not yours. Even while I write this, I wish I had more time to do things differently. You must have met my brother. He's an amazing young man. I know this because I have known him 30 years now. Please, watch over him and my parents too. Also, keep an eye on Junior and Amara. Cancer may have killed me, but it brought you to me. And for that, I am grateful. Yeah.